separation of mixtures and the periodic table as tested in the year 2015 KCSE chemistry paper 2 question number 3 welcome part a name the method that can be used to obtain pure ion 3 chloride from a mixture of ion 3 chloride and sodium chloride so this part of the question tested from one work on separation of mixtures what a candidate needed to have realized is that ion 3 chloride is one of the substances that sublime apart from ion 3 chloride other substances that sublime and which can be separated by sublimation method if mixed with other substances include ammonium chloride on the list of sublimates is also aluminium chloride we have iodine we have camphor and there is what is commonly called dry ice which is solid carbon 4 oxide so having realized that ion 3 chloride is a sublimate and sodium chloride is not the candidate was therefore supposed to talk about sublimation method as that which can be used to separate the two substances from each other for one mark part b we are told that a student was provided with a mixture of sunflower flour common salt and a red dye of course in solid state the characteristics of these three substances in the mixture are given in the table below so we have our substance solubility in water where sunflower flour doesn't dissolve but common salt and solid red dye are soluble when it comes to ethanol both sunflower flour common salt are insoluble but solid red dye is soluble so the question went ahead to inform the candidates that the student was provided with ethanol and any other materials needed the candidate was expected to describe how the student can separate the mixture into its three components for three marks now the three components of our mixture was sunflower flour and this from the table we saw is insoluble in both water and ethanol the next component was our common salt the common salt according to the table was soluble in water but insoluble in ethanol and then finally we had our red dye the red dye we are told was soluble in both water and ethanol so to answer this question the candidate would either start by adding ethanol or by adding water any of these would actually separate them now for purposes of this section we shall start with addition of ethanol so the student was expected to add ethanol to the mixture so if we add ethanol to the mixture we are told it is only the red dye that will dissolve so after adding ethanol what we would do next is to filter we are filtering to obtain sunflower flour and common salt 
as residue. But then our solid red dye would have dissolved, so it will come out as filtrate. What do we do to the filtrate? We would evaporate the filtrate. We then evaporate the filtrate so as to obtain the red dye which had dissolved in it. This would give our candidate the first mark. So add ethanol for half, filter for half. Now, to obtain now sunflower flour from common salt, we would then now add water to the residue. I know somebody may be asking, we are told we are provided with ethanol and any other material. This would mean that water was also available for us to use. So we shall add water to the residue. When we add water, what would happen is common salt would dissolve but sunflower flour would not. So what we will do next is to filter and when we do so, we shall obtain sunflower flour we shall obtain sunflower flour as our residue this step gives us the next mark adding water half filtering another half finally we shall evaporate the filtrate we shall evaporate the filtrate at this point to obtain our common salt having done that we are supposed to score all the three marks. So a half for evaporate to obtain common salt, the last half. And now to part C of question number three. Part C now tested on the understanding of the periodic table. So the candidate was informed that the diagram below shows part of a periodic table. Of course, the letters did not represent the actual symbols of the elements. The candidate was expected to use the diagram to answer the questions that follow. Now, the grid is here, and as the examiner has told us, we are given letters here which are not necessarily the actual symbols of the element. So we have group 1, group 2, transition element group, group 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. The first question was asking us to explain why the oxidizing power of W is more than that of X. W and X are in group 7, the halogen family. Now, when it comes to oxidizing power and periodic table given, a candidate would actually be forced to use the definition of redox that we learn in Form 4. And this is about redox in terms of electron transfer. So the first thing that we needed to have realized is that redox simply means reduction oxidation taking place at the same time in the same reaction so in terms of electron transfer what is reduction reduction simply means gain or acceptance of electrons on the other side oxidation is loss of electrons. Now, reduction oxidation involves two substances. One is a reducing agent and another one is an oxidizing agent. Now what happens, a reducing agent normally gets oxidized in a redox reaction. So in short, a reducing agent is that that loses electrons so that it gets oxidized. 
On the other hand, an oxidizing agent gets reduced in a redox reaction. So that means an oxidizing agent is one that gains an electron or electrons. With this short explanation, we realize that the element with more oxidizing power would have a higher chances of gaining electrons than the other one. So we know for the halogen group, the atomic size increases down the group. So the atomic radius of W is shorter or smaller than that of X. So W would have a higher tendency to gain or accept electrons than X. That is why its oxidizing power is more than that of X. So to answer this question, W, as we have explained, accepts electrons more readily than X. That would be the first reason but we won't stop here to score the two marks. We would go ahead and explain why W accepts electrons more readily than X. This is because it has a smaller, it has a smaller atomic radius. So W accepting electrons more readily, one mark, smaller atomic radius another mark making a total of two as demanded by the question now this reason of it has a smaller atomic radius would be replaced with w having less energy levels this could also be replaced by w having less screening effect and we also have another replacement for W having a smaller atomic radius that it has a greater effective, W has greater effective nuclear attraction. We would also even say that W is more electronegative more electronegative than X so all these reasons would actually explain why W accepts electrons more readily than X for the two marks we proceed to Roman 2 of part C which stated that how do the melting points of R and T compare? And then we would go ahead and explain. Now this would force us to actually go back to our grid and know our actual elements. R is here, it is lithium. T is here, it is nitrogen. And remember nitrogen exists as N2. Now as we know, nitrogen is a gas simple molecular structure while lithium is a metal with metallic bonds. That so, would be an eye-opener to answering our question. And of course we know melting point of R is higher than that of T. T is an non-metal, a gas of course, and R is a metal. So our answer here would have been that T has a lower melting point. Melting point than R. For the first mark. Then we would go ahead and explain that T exists as simple just like we learned in structured bonding it exists as simple molecular structure 
of course with weak van the world's forces between its molecules while r has strong metallic bonds that would be the explanation why t has a lower melting point than r or we can say r has a higher melting point than t and the explanation given there is just okay for the two marks in roman 3 of part c we are told to select an element that can be used in weather balloons this must be a noble gas and according to our grid that is element q for making cooking pot this must be aluminium and according to our grid aluminium is element n for part d roman 1 we were told to classify water iodine diamond and candle wax as either elements or compounds on the element side iodine is there and diamond remember diamond is carbon for the compounds we have water and of course candle wax being a hydrocarbon two marks so each for a half finally we were asked to give one use of diamond diamond can be used to make drilling bits diamond can also be used to make glass cutters and diamond can be used as jewelry you are asked anyone so a candidate had the option of choosing any one of these and with that we've come to the end of our video where we have reviewed the periodic table and separation of mixtures as tested in the year 2015. Thank you for your time and continue being part of this team.